Hi, I'm John, a.k.a. the John Bacon Everywhere on the Internet, and I'm doing like a little weird informational video uh, in jest of using ultra quality settings and how tech YouTube does this. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, you're going to see my cars in our garage. My Outback got hit. Uh, my wife was driving in to go do a surgery, so don't make fun of that. Also, it's winter. And there's like snow everywhere, so our garage is like stuffed to the brim. My bad. I'll clean it when I get a second. All right, thanks. Now, time for the gaming benchmarks. And again, please note I've used a GeForce RTX 3090 for all the game testing. Starting. Wait. Why are they using ultra quality? What? Hardware unboxed. Why are you using ultra quality? Ultra quality. Here at 1080p, we continue to see performance gains as the memory frequency is increased, though DDR4 3400 does once again appear to be the sweet spot. But, but, you have the overhead of the ultra quality setting. Wait, Linus, why are you guys testing ultra high preset? Put it on low to get more frames. The more frames you render, the more the CPU will be stressed. Why are you putting it on ultra? That doesn't make any sense. Forza Horizon 4? Ultra? Far Cry 6? Ultra? Flight Simulator? Ultra? That's like driving a WRX at 60 miles an hour and driving a Subaru Outback at 60 miles an hour. And saying the Subaru WRX isn't any faster. What y'all doing? Over there is our 2021 Subaru Outback XT. It does 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds. Here is our 2020 Subaru WRX. It does 0 to 60 in a little under 5 seconds. Both have turbocharged engines. Both are from Subaru. What's the difference? Let's go ahead and compare them whenever the settings that I have in Warzone, uh, one of the most popular games uh, on the settings that I have, which are predominantly low on 1440p, and then put them to ultra on everything. Okay? Let's try that out. Okay. So here's Call of Duty Warzone. And the settings that I am utilizing are lifted from Kerneal of Sense Quality. Thank you, Kerneal, for being a member of the community and taking care of your boy with uh, sharing all of your details on that there internet on YouTube. Uh, check out Kerneal. Link will be in the description. So uh, display, I have full screen borderless because I'm a weeb like that. Really, you should have a uh, full screen setup, but hey, whatever. Um, that said... Uh, camera movement, you want 50%. Streaming quality, low, low, low. <laughs> Particle quality, low. Uh, bullet impact, I have this for testing, but everything is disabled or low. Everything is just disabled or low. Disabled or low. Disabled or low. Disabled or low. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, hop into a Plunder's Trios match here. So your boy is getting 60 three in the menu and that's because I have a custom frame limit and my custom frame limit is 300 for uh, gameplay and menu is 60 and out of focus is 30 okay all right dropping from the sky with recording and having all my video sources up we're getting 200 frames baby 1440p Game over, baby. First blood. You're dead, too. Okay. This is just plunder, so these are all bots. I'm a bot, too. All right. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Tell you what. We're going to go ahead and back out because Warzone has this horrible tendency that if you are in a game and try to switch the settings, it will crash hard. So we are going to go ahead and go into the graphics, the quality, and we are going to set everything to YouTube magic. And we are going to go just everything max because we're testing out the CPU. We're checking our overclocks. 
We're we're just enabling everything. I don't have direct uh, ray tracing. Maybe I do. T screw it. You know what? This is a. Uh, I run everything on ultra. Okay. Uh, depth of field, world motion blur, and weapon motion blur. We're not going to mess with that because we're not dum dums. Okay. Fuck it. We're going to go full. No, I'm not going to do camera movement. That's terrible. Okay. We're applying the settings. I'll tell you what. Let's back out. Quit to desktop. Come back in. Okay. And remember, everything is like max ability. I have a 5800X, a 6800XT, and I got some pretty nasty overclocks going. Uh, not pr probably not as good as what Kernel and Sense Quality can do for you, but that's because I'm chasing them. I respect the man and all of his work and all of his team's efforts, and I'm trying to replicate it on my own for fun. Uh, so yeah, obviously the game looks you know more pretty, but does that equal click more heads? Uh uh, <laughs> you're gonna find out. Uh oh. Check your gear and weapons. Planes are making ready for the Ghost weapon. Cooper. Loading into a different area of the map. That's fair. That's fair. But. I mean, we're getting 116 frames. 130 frames. I'm, I'm not going to nerf myself here. I'm going to. Come here, boy. He didn't want to fight me. All right. Let's make the long shot. Hey, turd. You could have, like, shot me sooner, huh? All right. Yeah. Drop into the air. 158. Let's fight this kid. Ha-ha! <laughs> I'm cracked, bro. Ha! <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, 100-ish. 120 frames. Verse, you know, as many as I had before, which I don't even remember, but it was a lot higher. Hi, future John. Uh, I was getting like 220 frames. So, yeah. And that's just the pregame lobby. Playing on high settings costs you 100 frames. That kind of sucks. Maybe you're cool with that. Maybe you want the game to look pretty. That's fine. <laughs> you're going to lose to me. Uh, cause I'm getting a hundred more frames rip to console players. That said, if you liked the video, give it a like, if you want to see me test other games, put it in the comments, what you want me to test. If you don't agree with me, put that in the comments or tweet at me. I don't care. Uh, appreciate the views and just a quick conclusion for all of the tech YouTube people that are testing at high settings whenever they go through and test. CPUs. Don't do high settings for CPU testing. Set it to low for CPU testing. If you want ultra, set it ultra for GPU testing. The end.